It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter as kids you give. It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter as kids you give. Him that does hear, let him hear. What the Spirit is saying now. It's still forbidden, still forbidden, it's still forbidden, it's still forbidden, still forbidden, it's still forbidden. It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter as kids you give. It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter as kids you give. Him that does hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying now. It's still forbidden, still forbidden, it's still forbidden, it's still forbidden, still forbidden, it's still forbidden. It doesn't matter as kids you give. Him that does hear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying now. It's still forbidden, still forbidden, it's still forbidden. It's still forbidden, still forbidden, it's still forbidden. wedding someone should have sex yes why did auntie Femio get pregnant before our wedding day hmm. it was a mistake a mistake yes is that why you are fighting daddy because of auntie Femio? I'm not fighting your daddy day are you not supposed to support him as your husband and the head of the family? I'm not fighting your daddy. But I had a dream. Okay. You and Auntie Femio wants daddy to eat something he called a forbidden fruit. To eat it. Forbidden fruit? Yes. Daddy, hmm? please eat this food. It's very sweet. My dear, the apple is very, very sweet. You can have a taste of it. Hmm. This one, you and your daughter brought apple for me to eat. Hmm. I hope all is well, though. All is well, though. We just want you to eat it. So that all things can be well with us in the marriage. Exactly.
You want me to eat this apple? So that all will be well with your marriage? Ha! Huh. You want me to eat the apple? This forbidden fruit? Ha! Huh. You want us to tell lies? And go to the altar with pregnancy? Ha! Ah. You want us to compromise? And deceive the pastor? The church of God? And the people that will come around to witness the occasion that we are presenting undefined young man and woman for marriage in the church. Take, I am not eating. Take your forbidden fruit. Take, take from me. That dream will not come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Your daddy will not eat the forbidden fruit. It is okay. well, my dear. Hmm? Thank you. Can you join me? Are you okay? You are okay? Yes. Are you sure? Debo, food is ready. Your food is ready. Come here before it gets cold. Have you eaten before now? Then why are you not hungry? But you are the only food I want now. Debo, why can't you just take your mind off what you are thinking and let us see ourselves as ordinary friends without any affections? Ordinary friends without affection? See, Shalakwe, you are a lady. I'm a man. Male and female living together, and we have known that says intimately before. So forget child's play. This won't work. It will work if you take your mind off the sinful see, game. See, I cannot take my mind off it. Ah, why are you killing me now? Me, kill. I'm just telling you that you can kill your flesh and the lust thereof, just as I've killed mine long time ago. You killed your he boy not to dance, right? Yes. I'm dead to flesh. Ah. Immoral thoughts. Immoral movies and films. In fact, all immoral activities and sexual desires. No wonder you are not moved by my actions. That's too bad. Don't worry. See, I will help you to wake them up. No. You can't wake them up. Don't bother yourself. I will wake them up when it's necessary. And that's when I'm married. yourself and you are doing bad to me. It's unheard of. I mean, who does that? My Bible told me so. Galatians chapter 5 verse 24 says, And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh and the affections thereof. That is why I ask you to give your life to Christ. No way! Kojo, I will never surrender my life to Christ and be dead to sexual desires. Kojo, what do you mean by that? Debo. No one can walk with God, especially in this generation of ours, and not crucify the flesh and sexual desires. I disagree with you. So what about the married? 
Are they equally dead to flesh and sexual desires? See, the married couples who are of the Lord are equally dead to sexual and immoral desires. They are only performing marital duties, which is their sexual obligation to their spouses alone. Although Koren Nikoni Fere Yoma Fasi, Genesis chapter 3, verse 16d. Then let's get married. Shalabi, let's get married and be performing marital duty to each other now. That's the only clause. You see, you don't convert illicit affairs and relationship of the past to marriage. That is why I'm still praying to God for his direction. But I say God has directed me to you. What else do you want? I'm still praying to confirm if truly God directed you to me. So, with all I told you, I was deported without a reason. And you were the first person that came to my mind when I landed in the country. So, with all this, you still don't believe me. What else could have led me to you? I don't doubt you. However, let God confirm to me too that He led you to me. So, for how long are we going to wait? Is it only God that leads people? Just be patient with me and let me confirm from God. And besides, it's not only God that leads people. So, if not God, who else? The devil can mislead people to jeopardize and ruin their future and their destinies. The flesh also can mislead people to gratify unholy desires and cut short destinies. Past love affairs and unholy relationship can also mislead people to make them settle for less, to make them live unfulfilled lives and destinies. Many more like that, but just to mention a few. God can lead people, the devil can also lead people, illicit affairs. So, where do I belong among all these aforementioned now? Just calm down, okay? Um, okay? And let us wait to see how to fill in the gap. <laughs> I just remain calm and be gentle with her, maybe I will later have my way. Or should I just force her to have my way with her, then beg her thereafter, or run away? Ah, I also have promised her I will marry her. Hmm. What do I do now? The way Debo has been on my neck lately. Debo is very desperate. Ah, Lord, please help paralyze all his manipulations against him if he has any. In the name of Jesus. No, I just came to check if you are asleep. No, not yet. 
Hope no problem. No, there's no problem. Uh, by the way, where are you going? I don't know if you'll be interested. I was actually invited to invite you. Mm. Initially, I didn't plan going. But because I didn't have anything doing, I just said, let me go. That's fine. It's okay, but uh, I'm not prepared. Okay, no problem. See you tomorrow. Show that way. Why are you not showing me love? Here we go again. How do you mean? Well, I just feel you are not showing me love. Look at it now. I want to leave only me in the house to sleep. What will happen to you if you sleep alone in this house? After all, we don't sleep in the same room, which outsiders may not believe. Outsiders? What concerns outsiders with your affairs or our fears? Debo, by the grace of God bestowed on me, I have shown you the love of God. With your financial support, I have been able to get most of the gadgets and furnitures in this house. You can gladly make yourself comfortable with them. That will not make you feel lonely. And more so, as a sister that is yet to be married, it is not right and defendable for me to be living together with you. Not right and defendable? How do you mean? As a sister that is not married, it is not right and defendable for me. I can't defend it. Come on, why are you talking and saying people who are not married are not staying together as well? Yes, people may be doing it elsewhere. But it is not right, especially when they are not blood related. And more so, members of my church cannot come to visit me and not tag me as hypocrites and infidel. You are not making me comfortable in this house. You are always asking me for what is not right. So, what are you now insinuating? Just don't let me regret me living with you. Regret? Maybe I shouldn't have allowed us to stay together because I didn't envisage this will ever happen. <laughs> Good night. Preached, spoke as if he knows everything about me. Brother Shala, Brother Shala is an oracle of God. He speaks out the mind of God. His prophetic insight and word of knowledge is always amazing. You don't mean it. That's very amazing. I was thinking someone has spoken to him about me when he was preaching and saying those revelations. Yes, someone spoke to him about you. I guessed as much. No wonder he was speaking with so much accuracy about me. But you've never been to my place before. How do you know what has been happening to me? Me? Know what is going on in your house? It's not me. Then who could have been divulging everything about me to him? The Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit? But... Don't tell me that you have a man living with you in the house. Yes. And that's why I don't wish going back home. I think it's, it's a nice idea before the man will carry out his evil plan to defy you. If you don't mind, you can come over to my place to run away from sin. Really? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank God. I'm thank very God. grateful. Oh, thank thank God. you. What's our sister's for? Boy, you told me you are trusting God for who to marry. That you are praying for God's will in the marriage. Mm. Yes. That's actually what I'm seeking. The rest is long story. I'll tell you everything when we get home. Okay, let's go to my house. It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter excuses you give. It doesn't matter what is involved. It doesn't matter excuses you give. Him that does hear, let him hear. What the Spirit is saying now. You stay 
Thank God. Um, actually, I've been meaning to see you. Okay. Uh, yes. I see you as someone very serious about getting the right husband. Yes, ma. Um, during our last discussion when you visited. Yes, But to be candid with you, I didn't tell you much. Yes, I didn't tell you much. You know, I told you I prayed before I got my husband, right? Yes, ma. Hmm. Not really. Not really. He was my boyfriend. Eh? But we love each other so much. So we converted our relationship into marriage. We felt there was no need praying since we love each other. <laughs> Despite attending seminars and programs where we were taught to always pray for marriage partners. <laughs> my dear sister, Shuri. Ajato my son, Kunigbofiri Olode. Let me tell you, for the fact that a man loves you, doing everything for you before marriage, doesn't mean it's God's will for you as a husband. Do. Really? Yes. I'm telling you this because you came to me for advice, and I don't want to be a liar or advise you wrongly. I enjoyed my husband for just two years. Ha! Day after, <laughs> he showed me Pepe. Oko mi lo me to fi da hale. Flirting around with girls, which I always catch him red-handed. Mommy. Ha! Ati she we refura wa da da. We will scatter things and rearrange them back. His parents have settled a lot of quarrels for us. My parents in God. Even my pastor. We disturbed our pastor so much because of one issue or the other. But daddy is a very gentle and easygoing person. Eh? Gen what? Gentle. Anyway, gentle in appearance to people. But very corny, heady and flirty. My husband is a very smart guy. So, how are you coping with him now? <laughs> My sister, it's prayer. Prayer new. The prayer I ought to pray then, before marriage, is what I now do frequently. I do that when movies say come you. I use prayer to arrest him back to me. Because a lot of things that I tried then didn't work. Even pastor will give me prayer points. <laughs> My dear, pastors are trying. No? Also, but why agree that he might calm down? So that I can enjoy him. Since I've given my life to Christ and I'm now a born again. How is he now? <laughs> Cooperating. It's different now. Prayers have broken him and me down. I'm more gentle and mature now. Ah, mommy, thank God for your patience and prayers. Thank God, my sister. But it's not easy. Up till now, I still stomach a lot of things and endure a lot of things because of our children and their future. In fact, I still envy some of my friends who ventured into prayers before getting married. At least, they got it right from the foundation 80%. Because I know what and how they are enjoying their husbands.
But ma, is there a perfect will? <laughs> My sister, I don't know about a perfect man or woman. But all I know is that when you get it right from the beginning by praying and God answers, <laughs> you yourself will know compared to the way I'm managing mine now. Hmm. I've suffered a lot in marriage, you. Should go? Would you wait a meal? This is deep, ma. Hmm. My dear, I tried to relay my experience to you. At least you can learn. After all, you didn't force me to speak. But the Holy Spirit inspired me to tell you this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Ma, for You're welcome, this. my sister. But the way I normally see you and Daddy, I always think you are moving on along well. I see you as someone to emulate. That was why I was curious to ask questions. <laughs> yes, you are right, my sister. But don't be deceived, though. A lot of prayers and sacrifices have been made before I could achieve that. Do you think it's easy bringing him to church? <laughs> or the way you used to see us doing things together? Or call me with Sharon Riro? Ha! A mini mo your day. Your day, Ken. Baby. Mo your day, ni. I submit to him. I respect. I give him total submission whether it is convenient or not. I don't give room for argument. All I do is commit everything into prayer and fasting so that I can gain his attention and we can keep moving forward. Sex before marriage, uh -huh. pregnancy before wedding, uh -huh. marry unbeliever, uh -huh. choosing life partner, based on your feeling, they are forbidden. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I have been thinking about to get a phone to you. Hope you've not gone far. No, not really. I actually saw someone I know. Yeah. And during our discussion, our phone rang. That was when I realized that I left my phone. Oh, okay. Someone called you with the name Despiro. Yeah. But I didn't pick it. That's the old friend I told you of. Oh. Okay, um, I'll be back later in the day. Alright, let me start going now. Okay. Alright. Hey, ladies. Yes. Have you heard that Brother Diola is getting married next month? Really? Wow. Oh, <laughs> that's good news. So. That's good. Yes. That's good. Hey, hey, hey. That's good. But as for me, how we love to marry a tall, mm -hmm. slim, mm -hmm. wealthy man that owns a car and probably a house of his own. Ah, you are too conventional. Your mouth is too wide and you hey. ah, In hey. fact, your standards are too high. Mm -hmm. Where will you find a, a young man with those credentials? Mm -hmm. ha, too much. sister. I know you shame me. Don't mind now. Are you not tired of waiting after all this year and having to find a young good man? Which one be your own self? Did I tell you that I'm tired? I can never be tired of waiting of what I want. Hmm. For what I want, I can never be tired. Hmm. Yeah, I don't shame me. Anyway, look at How old are yourself? Of course, I'm 43. Jesus. Ah. Jesus. 43. That's why I ah. my hair to look younger. See, <laughs> you can't find a young man of that design. Well, except it's a divorcee or a married man looking for a second wife. Ah. I reject uh, it. She's asleep. I reject it. Uh, I want your job. Uh, <laughs> I saw you. That's what? what you guys usually say. I reject it in Jesus' name. Hey. At 43. It's 43. You are still prescribing to God. Uh, hey. A wedding. Who yes. owns a car, hey. a house That's of his own, oh. before you get married. Yes. At 43. Even me. At 38, mm -hmm. I'm still pleading to God mm -hmm. to just give me a God fearing young man uh, that will be my crown. In fact, 43. Oh, I'm not asking too much. Mama, grandma. Ah, what I'm asking God for is just mm. to give me a diligent, decent, and mm. smart guy. Me, I just want the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. <laughs> Bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Don't go too far, my sister. See, 
guys of nowadays are in a hurry in the hands of God. Mm -hmm. They no longer wait for God to remove their rib mm. to create human being mm. from their bones and flesh. Mm. I know she me bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Stay dear. Mm. I know she Are we still in the era of Adam and Eve? Abby. Sisters, wake up! Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> we are in modern era. Okay. Wake up, yeah. <laughs> my dear. Bone of Please. my bone, and flesh of my flesh. We are in the jet age. Yes. yes. So no one waits during the time of Adam and Eve. Exactly. Of course. Ah, ah, Come on, I've been waiting for you now. I'm very sorry. Ah, okay, 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 I okay, 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 I okay, 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 I I my husband. So, it's good to pray for the will of God in marriage. But, I'm so sorry, Ma. I still don't believe it's very compulsory for one to pray for this so called um, will of God in marriage. But, why? Because I hated that word. I grew up hearing people say um, they are praying for the will of God. I think it's all just lies, fraud, and unrealistic. Says who? Says me. But why? Experience, they say, is the best teacher. What are your experiences? Oh. What have you experienced about the subject matter? A lot, ma. I can remember Mr. and Mrs. Obakon, who divorced after two years of marriage. And they claimed it was the will of God before they got married. Likewise, my uncle, Mr. and Mrs. Orodaru, who always fought each other until the marriage got scattered. Likewise, a brother and sister in my former church who also got separated due to ordinary toothpaste issue at home. So I don't think this matter of praying and praying for marriage is a real thing. Maybe they didn't pray. But they claimed they did. But my uncle's wife, Mrs. Orodaru, claimed that she prayed before entering into the marriage. My sister, they didn't pray. You see, a lot of people lie that they prayed, but they didn't. Some prayed, but didn't accept the person God gave them. And some just picked a brother or sister they love and presented it to God for approval. No, it does not work like that. God is not an author of confusion, but of peace. No one who sincerely or genuinely prays will get it wrong. But how? <laughs> because God always gives good things to them that ask for him. He is not a bad God. Hmm. You see, you don't marry a man carnally. Marriage is a spiritual thing. Never conclude to marry a man because he is good, cheerful, and caring. Many have been deceived by that. You don't marry a man because it teaches you it might even be the Bible. Teachers at times take the advantage of whom they teach. Don't marry a man because he's giving you money. Don't
don't marry a man because he's helping you to become somebody in life. And you don't marry a man because he's been nice to you and your family. You see, they are all wrong foundations in marrying a man. You see, the only reason to marry a man should be by revelation from God, direction from God, and instruction from God. Then be rest assured that it's going to be the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. God has made them man and woman it has not changed and it will not change God is the founder of any marriage in all nations of the world no matter the race and color he founded the institution and he knows how to do it The reason for divorce and broken homes in all nations of the world today are traceable to the absence of God in their marriages and the advanced devilish attacks against such homes. Devilish attack? Yes. Devil does not like good and peaceful homes. He fights it. Let's eat this fruit. I'm not eating. Let's eat this fruit now. It is sweet. We are told not to eat the forbidden food before marriage. He says, The word of God. We are in the Bible. Moreover, if we eat it, nobody will know. Hmm. <laughs> Are you sure? There's it. it. Okay. Ah! Buddy Joe! Ah! You pushed me into this! And I don't want to do this! Ah! Ah! Buddy Joe, why? Why do you do this to me? Why? Oh, Bade Joe. Bade Joe, you pushed me to this. Now, I'm denied of having a church wedding. Oh. Sex before marriage is still forbidden. Sex before marriage, uh -huh. pregnancy before wedding, uh -huh. marry unbeliever, uh -huh. choosing life partner based on your feeling. They are forbidden. It is forbidden. Oh, it is forbidden. It is forbidden. Oh, it is forbidden. <sighs> If I go out with my bag now, he will suspect me and may try to stop or hinder me. Let me continue reading my Bible. He will go inside. Sex before marriage, uh -huh. pregnancy before wedding. I know you will be tired, son, and stop reading, then go to bed. <laughs> today is today. I must be with you in bed tonight. It is forbidden. Oh, it is forbidden. Are you not bored? It is forbidden. Oh, bored? Yes, you have been reading the Bible for two hours plus now. I can't be bored reading the Word of God. No. Oh, okay. If you like, read the whole Bible front to back. You will soon be overridden and resign to bed. I'm here waiting. 
no sleep tonight. I don't know what he is still waiting to do here in the living room. He should have gone inside and let me find my way out. Doesn't matter what is involved. He doesn't matter if he's with you. He that does he let him hear. What does the Oh well under pressure? The best option. I mean the best thing to do is to flee, is to run away. First Corinthians chapter says that's it. I know you shouldn't stop reading now. <laughs> you can't read all day now. Tonight is tonight. You stay forbidding. Stay forbidding. You stay forbidding. Oh. He's not gone he inside yet. In he doesn't matter as keys you give. He doesn't matter what is in vogue. He doesn't matter as keys you give. Why did she come back to read Bible again? She should be feeling sleepy by now. What the spirit is saying now. You stay forbidding. Stay forbidding. You stay forbidding. You stay forbidding. Stay forbidding. You stay forbidding. See my room key. Okay, no. Maybe you forgot it at the video where you went with and made you return this afternoon. No, I'm very sure I left it at home before I went for the video. Are you sure? I'm very sure. All this. 
what do I do now? <sighs> today now, today, if you are unable to lock, tell me how I will not have access to you. It doesn't matter what is in vogue It doesn't matter the excuse you give It doesn't matter what is in vogue It doesn't matter the excuse you give Him that does hear, let him hear What the Spirit is saying now <sighs> Stay for bidding. Stay for bidding. Lord, please let the wind of sleep blow on him to make him fast asleep so I could escape. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help me, Lord, Holy Spirit. Please blow upon him the fast sleep, oh God. So that he could fall asleep in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter as keys you give. It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter as keys you give. Him that does hear, let him hear. <coughs> What the spirit is saying now is stay forbidden, stay forbidden, is stay forbidden, is stay forbidden, stay forbidden. Is the subscribe to me have you subscribed to my channel ah <laughs> I have subscribed to uncountable channels they are just using us to increase their followers and make money oh yes there are several channels but there is one channel you have not subscribed to and which channel is that <laughs> it is a channel Life. Life 
Oh yes, life. Other channels will give you temporal life and enjoyment. And that's why they get paid for doing that through subscribers and followers. But through my channel, you will get eternal life. God did not send the Son to condemn the world, but that the world, through Him, can be saved. So what channel is that? Jesus. rapture has happened hmm. <sighs> look at them so you don't rapture has taken place ah Possess such a dirty, terrible, evil mind. Why? Ha. The Lord told me that you wanted to rape her. Why did you want to rape her? Don't you know that it is an offense punishable in the court of law? Why did you want to hand up the rest of your life in jail? Rapture has not happened. But the Lord only revealed his love to you. Because if you had succeeded in raping that girl, <laughs> you would have been caught, you would have been arrested, and you would have been jailed. <sighs> Thank God for his love. You need to go to the altar now. Go and pray at the altar. Ask God to forgive you. Confess your sin to him. Go now to the altar.
Forgive me. Truly, I'm a sinner, as Shema Kwe said. I'm a sinner for the immoral thoughts I have towards her. I'm a sinner for the bad and dirty nature I possess. Please forgive me. Jesus, I have come to subscribe to you. Jesus, I have come. So, very early tomorrow morning, you will come with your parents for the marriage blessings. Before you proceed for your engagement and reception program. Then on Sunday morning, you will come for your Thanksgiving. Your Thanksgiving service. Simple. Hope you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, that's good. Um, my brother. My sister. I want you to know that your parents love you. And this congregation of the saints loves you so much. It's just going to be foolhardy of us to join pregnant couple together and call it holy matrimony. Please, don't join the bad wagon kind of people that fill up the site now offering to God strange fire on the holy altar by telling lies it is forbidden whoever wants holy matrimony must not defile themselves before the wedding night it is a forbidden act Marriage must be held in honor among God and the bed of marriage undefiled. It is written 
for the fornicators and adulterers God will judge that is in the book of Hebrew 13 verse 4 thank you sir thanks to God refused 
He's become the headstone of the corner. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank God. Revelation 3, verse 22. Mm. He that art and hear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Huh? Lord, I have ears. Mm. And I have heard your voice. Thank you, Lord. This is your doing. Mm. And it is marvelous in my sight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're not a man. No. You're not a man. No. You're the God who opens us and no man can shut. Thank you, Father. You're not a man, I will my own. You're not a man, no. You're the God of everything, no one like you. Lord, you carry me when some carry their God. Baba, you feed me, Lord. When some feed their God, Thank you, Jesus. I say, Jesus, Thank you, you know Thank they you. use me, they play. Thank you, Jesus. Baba, me, Jesus, you know they use me, they play. Thank you, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I just thank God. Thank you. You are contemplating what a man is dying to have. You've got freely. Don't be a carnal man. A carnal man will never appreciate God's gift and favor. In your opinion, you think she's not tall and charming as you want. But marriage is spiritual. The virgin deposited in her is for you to fulfill purpose in life. She will boost your life, your glory. That is the kind of marriage made in heaven. So long with all showing face. <laughs> ah! Oh, that's great. Uh, maybe we should, we should go back. All right, sir. Ah. Daddy, why is it that we have to pray to get a wife? 
Can't I just see a lady that I love and marry her? The word of God says, He that findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor from the Lord. Who wants to get 18 verse number 22? Don't you want good thing and favor from God? Uh, yes, I want, I want. It, but since it's favor, it should be freely given. Uh, yes, uh, that is the problem. But because since it's favor, favor should always be freely given and not labored for in prayer. You are correct. You are absolutely correct. But, the devil say, ask and shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. All this comes through prayers. You get God's favor by prayers. I hate prayers. You hate prayers? Yes, I hate praying for so long before I get the things I want. I hate praying on one particular point of expectation without an express answer. I hate to ask in prayers what I can easily get seamlessly with my efforts. My brain didn't break before they got married and they are very fine. How did you know? Nobody get it right in life without investment in prayers. Prayers. Sir, what do you even call prayers? Hmm. Prayers. Prayer is communication with God. You tell God your heart desires and it gives you the right answer. You see, I, I know you are wondering why I've not traveled. I don't know why. In fact, I've been having these dreams for the past three weeks now, consistently. Hmm. I saw you calling me on phone in my dreams to come and see you. Hmm. And secondly, I saw you praying for me. And after praying for me, you asked me to read the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 14 and 15. Hmm. I did not understand what I read. The last one yesterday that made me to come, I saw a man. He came to you and he was pouring water on your hands. Hmm. You were washing your hands. After washed and cleaned, the man went back. And you now look back at me and said, that is the man hmm. for me. Hmm. So I'm worried. I don't understand. I, I don't understand it, sir. Daddy, we are through with the youth program in the youth church, sir. He was deported for the purpose of meeting his wife while serving on the union. For me, hey, I'm still waiting on God for a husband. Eh? Trusting God? Exactly. Oh. My sister, Sir? I am your pastor, and I must tell you the truth. Okay. You need to work seriously on your character. Yes, you need to work on your character. This is the seventh man that is breaking up with you. The first man that came to your way in this church, Borashinyobola Uluwa Farifumi. Why your reform, sir? Yes. Borashinyobola Uluwa Farifumi. 
was just married a few months ago. Huh. Yes. He eventually got a good sister and a godly sister that they traveled together to the US. Ah. Did you know that that brother was the CEO of a company? Really? Yes. He only humbled himself because he wanted to marry a godly sister. Ah, oh, Sir, help me. <laughs> but God eventually trained him and gave him a beautiful and godly sister. Hey, okay. Tell me to share me by. Now. You lost that brother because of your bad character and worldliness. It's not my fault, like to know. Four other brothers came your way and went the same way. What's wrong with you? Look, if it's an attack, go and do something about it. If it's a cause, pray and Pray and pray and repel it. Huh? Much more. You have to work on your character. You have character problem. In this church, the ugly have got married. The short got married. The tall got married. Even the fat. What an husband in this church. According to the Bible in the book of Proverbs 31, verse 30. But it is about our character and seeking the will of God. The Lord will have mercy. God bless you. Hi. Uh, okay, maybe later, please. Why later? Look, at this moment, it's not important to me. It is not even on my agenda. Uh, uh, please excuse me. Please. Brother, Jesus loves you. Uh, hi. Please have this. Please, have you subscribed? Subscribe. Yeah. Uh, Uncountable numbers of channels. Far too numerous to mention. Oh, that's good. But have you subscribed to Jesus? Jesus? Yes. Jesus, the only channel to eternal life. We are talking of visible channels, eh? full of entertainment, action movies, educational and money making content. You are talking about channel to eternal life. My brother. That is very far. Very, very far. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you, brother? I'm fine, sir. Please have this. Sir, have you subscribed? Subscribe? For what? Do not tell me that. And do not tell me that again. But why, sir? You're asking me why? I subscribe to cable TVs and to all network providers. Every month you are collecting my money. I'm the one paying to recharge every now and then. That's how a lot of you go about telling us to subscribe to your channel. Yet you are using us to rake dollars into your account. Do you give us anything in return? See, let me tell you, I am wise now. Let nobody tell me to subscribe to any channel. If I like, I will. And if I do not like, let me be. And again, do not tell me to subscribe. Okay, but sir, this one is different. Show you the why meaning. How is it different? Oh yeah, explain. Because this is the only channel that leads to heaven. Where you enjoy eternal life. Ah, uh, what again? Thereafter, you press the notification bell so that you can receive from Jesus every time, every day, and everywhere. Like Jesus, press and press to show how much you love Him. And finally, sir, comment on Jesus. Let the world know what He has done for you and what He will do for others. 
Okay. Jesus wants subscribers. Will you be one? What am I waiting for? I will subscribe every day, every time, and everywhere. subscribe to that channel. I've been enjoying joy, breakthrough, healing, wonders, and all kind of our miracle. Hmm. I even tell people to share, to follow, to comment, and like that channel. My brother, I want to encourage you. Hmm. That's the only channel that people subscribe to as you are telling them that they'll be enjoying our wolf blessing. Hmm. Brother, I want to encourage you to keep the fire going. Subscribe to Jesus. Yes. Wonderful. Subscribe to Jesus. Maga? Hey, How much be this one? How many? Under now. Oh yeah. Find me too. Find me too. Yeah. I'll say this is sweet. Oh. Yeah. Now go give me something, you know. Can you start with this? I'm waiting for this. My brother, it's not a new style. It's just a new way of presenting the same Jesus we have always known, the Savior of the world. I have subscribed to him. I hope you have done so too. It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter as kids you give. It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter as kids you give. Him that does hear, let him hear What the Spirit is saying now He's still forbidding Still forbidding He's still forbidding He's still forbidding Stay forbidden. Stay forbidden. It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter as kids you give. It doesn't matter what is in vogue. It doesn't matter as kids you give Him that does hear, let him hear What the Spirit is saying now It's still forbidden Still forbidden It's still forbidden it's still forbidden. Still forbidden. It's still forbidden. It is forbidden. Oh, it is forbidden. It is forbidden. Oh, it is forbidden. Sex before marriage, pregnancy before wedding, marry unbeliever, choosing life partner, based on your feeling, they are forbidden. Sex before marriage, pregnancy before wedding, marry unbeliever, choosing life partner, based on your feeling, they are forbidden. It is forbidden. Forbidden. It is forbidden. Oh, it is forbidden. 